How many of you out there remember the Shack Attack? Shack Attack. Is that all you get? I think the establishment is going to feel the latest one. And welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm Laura Degatis, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. I denounce my celebrityness today. I will show you some more intriguing clips about this latest establishment rejection by an establishment uh, celebrity, or maybe not anymore, in a minute. But I have to say that when I saw this clip, of course, my show business rule immediately came to mind, especially after watching a few more pretty huge celebrities seemingly to take the proverbial pill, if you will. However, I have a couple more reasons why I kind of believe Shaq. Before I show you why, please don't forget that I'm very excited to let you all know that I'm going to be going live soon. I'm going to have a live show. I'm very excited. This has actually been my goal. Hopefully I will get some people calling in on the first day. If not, I am preparing some funny clips. We'll have a good time anyway. Anyway, I've decided that I'll be doing this call-in talk show on Thursday nights at 7 Central, 8 Eastern, and 5, as Salty Cracker puts it, avocado time. It's funny how when he said that the first time I knew what he was talking about. I don't know why. Anyway, my show will be your opportunity to get your voice out there into the internet and across the universe. Now, I'm not looking for debates per se. I don't mind having conversations, but I'm not looking to change anybody's mind. My goal is to get everyone's voice out there. It's extremely important. The freedom of speech is largely being stomped on uh, by powers that be, I'll put it that way. In fact, um, you're probably looking at me on one of them at the moment. And it's, it's really important that people keep getting their voices out there. That's something that's always been important to me as a musician, as a cover artist. Uh, I've always um, appreciated anybody that had the nuts to get out there and put themselves out there because writing music and songs and things like that does come from within your being, your body. A lot of times these people live these music, this music and not being able to express that freely or any kind of art freely is going to be the downfall of humanity, in my opinion. Like I say, I'm not looking for any debates per se, but I do want to give everyday average folks the opportunity to get their voices out there like discussions in our country were meant to be. It seems like you always know what the most popular folks always have to say and what they think. And of course, a lot of times they commence to speaking for the rest of us. I find that offensive. I don't mind listening to these folks and I don't mind hearing the news from these folks. But then when they tell me that this is how I should feel about it or what I should think about it, I have a problem at that point. And if I disagree at that point, they start calling me names or they start to try and dehumanize you as they keep putting it now as an, is another buzzword of the day, if you will. Uh, yeah, it's important. We need to stand up for that right, if nothing else. So come out and join me in being a famous nobody. You can join my famous nobody crew. And we'll be famous nobodies together. Don't forget, it'll be on Thursdays at 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and 5 p.m. Avocado Time. So join me on December 2nd, when we will go live with the goddess. This and all my videos are brought to you by you and folks like you. If you'd like to see me continue my work, please click on the thumbs up button down below. Then click on the red subscribe button also down below. Next to that, please click on the notification bell under all so you don't miss any of my stuff. Join the conversation by giving me a comment down below and letting me know what you think of this video or any of my videos. And a donation would be the ultimate. It will also bring me one step closer to including you in the conversation. You can also catch me and my work 
on other platforms, just in case I disappear from here. All my links are below. Click on some of them, will ya? Okay, back to the topic. First, I want to say to Shaq, welcome to our band of famous nobodies. Like me, like you. Shaq actually has a long history of not being an asshole. And believe me, I've known him for as long as he's actually been famous. LSU is one of my favorite schools. I lived in New Orleans for a very long time. So he's the pride of New Orleans for sure. In all of that time, I've never heard him tell anyone how to think, what to do, how to be. He's helped many, many people up the ladders of success, starting with children. And to me, and a lot of people up until recently, he's the true epitome of the American dream. He seems to have worked very hard coming from a very poor childhood, which in itself builds character. Um, I know folks that have admired him for very long periods of time, and I don't remember hearing of any scandals other than the fact that he's a player. But I don't remember that hurting anyone else except maybe his wife and family at the time. And besides, I take a lot of that, what I hear, with a grain of salt. Because claiming celebs performing or getting caught in some kind of indiscretion, betrayal or another, was always the way to get more eyeballs on papers and screens back in the day. They didn't have the internet, so things would be made up, especially about having affairs, etc, etc. Think The Inquirer, if you can remember that. I don't think they even have that anymore, do they? And of course, if you think about it, most soap operas were based on this type of infidelity and betrayal of the rich and privileged people. Ask anyone over 40. Their eyes were glued to those shows and folks were upset when the networks would preempt them for something political. Seemed like everything seemed to happen during daytime television. Damn, I miss all my children. I've never heard of Shaq abusing anyone either, like no domestic issues or stuff like that. Who I have been hearing from in a few places as I did my research for this video are some of his exes and that they did their fair share of revenge, if you will, for the infidelities. One of his ex-wives even admitted to vandalizing one of his vehicles after catching him cheating. But the way she described it, she didn't actually catch him cheating. They accidentally switched blackberries and there was a string of women that texted him things that they wanted to do to him. She never mentioned whether or not he texted them back. And uh, I don't remember her confronting any of the women. I also happened to hear that his latest breakup about nine months ago or so included him telling her via text to commit a personal extraction from Earth of herself, if you will. However, I had trouble believing it because in the one version of the story that I witnessed, I couldn't find anything else that corroborated this. There was no picture of what the ex claimed was texted, even as the narrator of this video describes how his ex showed it to whomever she was being interviewed by at the time. At that point, it just sounded more like hearsay of hearsay, if you ask me. Again, I was able to find nothing else corroborating that claim, not even the text itself. So yeah, no. I've actually always been a big proponent of pictures or it didn't happen. And even then there are some real good photoshoppers out there. So see, I trust no one, especially in this day and age. Another reason why I have a bit more trust in Shaq's proclamation is that I know his history and I don't actually see anyone on either side actually scolding him like they did for Nikki and Joe Rogan and uh, anybody else that, that didn't completely agree with everything. Celebrities are crazy. I don't want to be in that category. These people are out of their freaking mind. Most of them celebrities are out of their damn mind. I'm a regular person that listened, followed his dreams, made it. But just because I made it, don't mean I'm bigger than you. Just because I made it, don't mean I'm smarter than you. Just because I have more money than you, don't mean that I'm better than you. I've never been that way and I never will be that way. So I don't want to be in that category with the people. So if you're either nice or you're the, the A word, and I definitely want to be looked at as, as the A word. I want people to say, 
Bro, he's nice. He didn't have an entourage. His people didn't take my phone because I took a picture and threw it like this. I don't want these, these, these celebrities are going freaking crazy. I don't want to be one. In fact, many, many people are actually praising Shaq for this. Finally, Shaquille dunks on celebs who act like punks. The thing that's great about Shaq is that he has never been thirsty. Yeah. And, I, and that term is that you just need more because you can't get enough of what you are. He's always kind of been at a high level and he was there because he worked hard. Even after, I would say his NBA career isn't as powerful as what he's done after his NBA career. He owns businesses, he helps people, if everything from- He's a by, sheriff. He's a sheriff, uh, yeah, he's a dead. He does a lot of things and he doesn't do it for anyone else but himself and the people he wants to do well. Shaquille O'Neal has always done things for other people. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he, everybody knows who he is, the fact that he's the kind of guy who gets all the attention he wants is an indication that he is appreciative to this country, mm -hmm. to what he's gotten from this country, to the fans in America, to the money that he's made in America. He understands where it all came from, and that's why yeah. he is giving up on the other people who hate America, hate the flag, can't stand us. And you know what? Good for Shaq That's and right. the hell with yeah. the other ones. God. What he is trying to tell the celebrity left, I don't want to be a part of your attack on this country. That's just a coded message, and I applaud him for saying it. He's doing it in a very diplomatic way. I can't wait to see what they try to do to poor Russell Brand after his revelation about his absolute surprise and awe about the newly exposed information that Russiagate was the exact opposite of what the establishment kept telling everyone it was. You remember, Trump was dealing with the Russians? That's how he got elected? In fact, as I was watching his video about this, it was such a surprise and an opposite mantra for him, he even went as far as reassuring his audience at least twice that he was still on their side. I'm not a Trump supporter, he said, but he just could not believe that Trump was even capable of telling the truth or being right about something. And now here he is having to admit that very thing. Me, a person who I would think, broadly speaking, is from the left, a liberal, certainly not a Trump supporting Republican, with respect to those of you that are, I find myself in awe, gobsmacked, flabbergasted and startled by these revelations that Russiagate was a democratic conspiracy. I won't say I told you so. Oh wait. So yeah, of course, I am still skeptical. I've been avoiding supporting most celebrities for years now, but I will keep an open mind. Everyone deserves forgiveness. I'm not going to forget that just because they have. Um, but I'm also remaining hopeful that we will become our free selves again. And it seems like the people or the folks that are going to have to lead that movement have been the ones that we've looked up to for years and years. Unfortunately, and I'm not saying we as me because I haven't looked up to any of these people. I think the last star that I looked up to was Huey Lewis. And of course, a lot of musicians. Frank Zappa was one. But uh, yeah, a lot of celebrities, especially like the ones you're seeing now, need to stick to their guns on this, if this is the case. Because I have seen some go... In fact, 50 Cent is at it again. Let's see how long it takes him to apologize this time. He said something to the effect of the pointing out the Biden taxes or something like that, and then told everyone he was moving to Texas. Yeah, let's see how long it takes him to apologize for that. I will remain skeptical of all these celebs, even if they do seem to be pulling away from their overlords. But until I see some changes, some actual changes where people aren't going up to people and sticking their fingers in your face and telling you how horrible you are when they don't even know who you are, like that guy from the Target, and the reversal of all censorship and the freedom of my body and my choice. I will always remain skeptical and continue to think for myself, no matter what they say, even if everything seems to be getting better. Believe me, I've had questions about the last administration too. I'm not a blind follower of just anybody or anything. 
especially since we've been lied to so much from these elitist crazies. After all that has gone on, especially in the last six years, I trust no one and will always ask questions. Kudos once again, Shaquille O'Neal, for your success in our American way. Thank you for speaking out. I do hope that you enjoyed my video today. Please don't forget that I'm going to be going live December the 2nd at 7 p.m. Central Time. Uh, it'll be 8 p.m. Eastern Time and 5 p.m. Avocado Time. Make sure you click on that and uh, stay tuned for everything. We're going to have a lot of fun. You should have at least three ways to contact me. I'm going to be starting here on YouTube and on Discord if I can get it to work. <laughs> You, like I say, you should have three ways in order to get in touch with me. I'll have a phone number. You can get with me on Discord, or you can, you can, I'll have an email where you can get me on Skype. Please pass the word, and hopefully we'll see you on December the second, 7 p.m. Central Time. We'll have a lot of fun. I've got some clips. I've got some great clips that I'm coming up with, and um, we'll talk about current events. We'll talk about whatever you want. Again, I'm not necessarily looking for any kind of debates. I don't necessarily want to change anyone's mind. I'm getting my opinion out there, and I'm hopefully helping to preserve our First Amendment. So come out and join me in being a famous nobody. You can join my famous nobody crew. And we'll be famous nobodies together. Don't forget, it'll be on Thursdays at 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and 5 p.m. Avocado Time. So join me on December 2nd, when we will go live with the goddess. This and all my videos are brought to you by you and folks like you. If you'd like to see me continue my work, please click on the thumbs up button down below. Then click on the red subscribe button also down below. Next to that, please click on the notification bell under all so you don't miss any of my stuff. Join the conversation by giving me a comment down below and letting me know what you think of this video or any of my videos. And a donation would be the ultimate. It will also bring me one step closer to including you in the conversation. You can also catch me and my work on other platforms just in case I disappear from here. All my links are below. Click on some of them, will ya? Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Until next time.